Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Thursday night. We're here for another episode of Beat the Backlog. We're going to be back into Xanadu next, where I am completely lost. And the only thing, if you ever get lost, the best thing you can do, aside from obviously looking up a guide online, which I'm not going to do because I have my pride, <laughs> is to actually talk to the NPCs and such. So we're actually going to be playing a little bit more Xanadu next. I know a lot of people are enjoying their time at PAX East. I hope everyone is going to have an awesome time as they spread the plague to everyone and everyone they care about. <laughs> Let's not worry about them. I'm here to have a good time tonight playing this game. Just love that little opening melody. Like just listening to a toy box or a little musical box. So, here we are. We actually have quite a bit of money here, and we have our guardian. Actually, I probably give myself a little bit of a discount here. There's actually a few things I want to take care of before we uh, jump right on back into the woods. I did a little... I Actually, no, I didn't do much organizing here, so I still have the flying mace as our main weapon. I think that's going to be our main weapon. Alright, quite a bit of skills. We're not going to spend this money on magic, however. We're actually going to upgrade our... I have a plan to actually upgrade our armor. Because our armor is easily one of the most important stats you can get in this game. And I've said it multiple times, but it's always nice to be a little repetitive in this sense. <clears throat> There's a pretty big difference going from 70 to 140, and we're a little close to that, actually. If anything, what I could do... I can actually sell one of these little guys right here, and that'll get us over. Because... Let's see, I... No, I couldn't even... I can't reach the stats for the half plate, but I can easily reach the stats for the splint mail here, and that's what I actually want to get. I'm going to be upgrading to that as our next piece of armor. Unfortunately, that sets us back a little bit to not be able to get the uh, battle axe or anything else, but I have a feeling that going increasing my defense by 70 just by putting in four stats into my constitution will make a world of difference. So I want to take care of that first before and, organ and reorganize my inventory before we do anything else. I just realized I probably could have gotten a bit, a little bit of a better discount, but that's fine. So just to make sure here, I need 20 constitution here, so... I leave those three points. I like leaving the points, oddly enough, just simply because it leaves that, that room to breathe. I actually know what I can do here, so I'm going to quickly equip the splint mail here, and I can put the ring mail back into my inventory here. Like I said, it's all about the numbers. I don't have a lot of magic defense, unfortunately, so that's, that's definitely going to be one of my downfalls playing through this. What I can do, though, put the armor in. I know I'd call it, call it like just an old, an old habit, but I just always enjoyed, um, holding on to, actually what I could do, I could, just... I could have all three stats effects and have potions. What I like to do is just hang on to old weapons and such, call it a, let's see, call it an old habit. So she's still translating a uh, new tabula and a memoir. I should talk to her first. Charlotte, talk to me. Nope, oh, still talking about how everyone's being super friendly. I need to find a way to navigate the Lost Woods a lot easier, because I have no idea how to get around. This char is quite tough for such an adorable girl. When I see her lugging that huge pack of hers, I just want to drop everything and give her a hand. Oh, but I'm getting off track. I wanted something to t I had something I wanted to tell you, Sir Knight. Dessie had uh, taken quite a liking to Miss Char. Even he is not immune to her charms, it seems. I know Miss Char has... Miss Char, I should say properly, because it's Charlotte, has given him some errands to run about town. Hey, Knight. Er, I, uh... I just got to say, that Char is a nice gal. Whenever I see her, my face just turns as red as Alcott's cherry brandy. 
Aww. I've heard that this island has a place that the locals call Treshire uh, Woods. It has quite the ominous reputation. It's said that uh, once people enter it, they become trapped and lost inside. Even if you think you could return to the path, you're already under its spell. In order to escape the forest, there seems to be a particular route you must take. You would you like to tell me what that route is? Alright, you don't know the route. Young and heed me well, when you can't beat a foe, ta uh, take a good look at your own attributes. Luckily, Laelise uh, of the Spirit Sanctum is quite talented in that area. There are times when you'll want to adjust your attributes, and even times when you'll want to knock, uh, knock yourself down a notch. Going that way might even turn out to be a shortcut. Well, well, that Char gal is sure is something. Been talking all about research and doing stuff to be an Academy Honor student and stuff, ain't that a thing. It's quite the charmer, too. I'd love to have a daughter like her. Yep. And just like me, unfortunately, Char lost her parents in the war. One of these people have to have some advice here. How about you, knight? You fought a lot of undead, right? You even crossed swords with one that had its bones sticking out. I hear that when those kinds are killed, they'll often leave a bone or two behind. Real sturdy ones, too. They make great keys. If you find a spot with lots of undead like uh, like that, be sure to remember where it is. If you ever run out of keys, that's where you go. Thank you, Gunter. That's actually good advice. The strength of this country is substantial, and Prime Minister Zordius' grip is equally powerful. I've heard many uh, I've heard I've heard tell from many a place that the Prime Minister opened the Royal Keep's food reserves has been sending out aids to areas damaged by the war. Even dispatched doctors to see to the recovery of, the, of those of those people injured in the turmoil. The royal capital, the prime minister, has the boisterous support of the city. Says, right? Well, I guess winning the hearts of the peasantry is quite uh, quite vital. Yes, it is. No, nope, still nothing. It's hard to find a good time to swap around equipment, isn't it? Once you've reached 200% uh, proficiency, you may want to use it all the time. When you get a new weapon, it may be best to raise your skill with it as soon as possible. I mean, experience the style that best suits you will become clear. So, Lazarus here actually is all about, um... Is basically like your combat tutorial, so he actually explains everything uh, in detail. I know I skipped him, but primarily for the reason that, well, it's kind of redundant and I could explain it myself. I think they even found, uh, the nut who killed the fellow the other day. Well, that ain't, ain't that big an island. It's got lots of hiding spots. If I had to guess, I'd, I'd say that bugger probably hid himself in the ruins. Plenty of spots there to lay low. Hmm. Maybe the kids know. Children, do you know? The phoenix is a bird that, uh, from a fairy tale that lives forever. Granny Deborah uh, said they'll lead people of this world to redemption. Hmm, I wonder what to do today. Maybe Granny Deborah will tell me the story of, of the Phoenix again. People look around and just see all the smiling faces. It's hard to imagine just a little while ago there was a war. Okay, I actually talked to these people before. I'm kind of hungry. Grabbed a tavern. Gotta be someone who has some info I could use to figure out how to get through the woods. Nope. Ah. The I actually don't have any money. Well, I have some money, but not enough. Do I need key? I definitely don't need keys. I have 20 keys. Now, this is just something my old man told me, but long, long ago, there was a great blazing spirit who lived on Eaglet Mountain. 
That spirit uses flaming sword to control the fire and lava of the land. The island of Harlash was originally created by the eruption of Eaglet Mountain. I wouldn't say that little bit of fire and smoke was the work of that spirit, though. Non-believer! Strike him down! He wants to be a mercenary. I hate the people here, actually. If you pass through Treasure Woods, which lay at the edge of the ruins, you'll reach the sacred Eaglet Mountain. But I should warn you, Sir Knight, I've heard many tales of that perilous forest. Those who brave its reaches have become lost and confused. If you were to venture in there without the divine protection of a guardian, then... That... Do I need to actually equip a specific guardian? Nah, can't be. Sometimes I find myself out over the lake, gazing over the lake. I feel great unease of late, I must confess. Or I've seen what uh, I've seen what appears to be Castle Strange Rock. What ill omen that bodes. I didn't see a guard like the one guardian I got was Flugel here, but that didn't say anything about being able to navigate. It only raises my experience. Oh no, I I got nothing here. Actually, a surprise. Well, the only thing to do is to go back. Let's record our deeds and head back to the forest. Let's see. Thankfully, these teleporters will be very handy. Oops, <laughs> of course I used them incorrectly. Whole different story altogether. So, I know some running prime. Actually, no, I've been using Blaze as a blade. That's actually a really good skill. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a new weapon, which is gonna. Well, it, it's gonna take me a lot, a lot longer now. I'm surprised I didn't find any advice on how to get through the forest here. I'm honestly surprised about that. Like, unless... You know what? This is actually gonna be dumb. Aha! Respect... Aha! There we go. Gonna... I'm not afraid of you anymore. Unless you use magic, that's a whole different story. Yeah, the magic still hurts like that. Should have realized that in the first place, the old spectacles. Ah, come on! I'm actually stuck. I have to find my way out here. One downside, you can't activate or take this stuff off. Trial and error. I like how I basically went through a lot of this with trial and error. <laughs> okay. Ooh, new area. Uh, like I said, this is the one downside of everything.
Oh, it destroys the chests. A lesson has been learned. Not a fan of this part, though. Clearly, this is actually not that great design. Alright, I'm still using the flank mace, what am I doing? I'm like, why am I not doing as much damage to these guys? I you know, I remember why. I use one of those potions. There's only one crown left, so what? Another statue. Another stage. What's this? Don't tell me Agnes made it. Agnes made it through, holy crap. There was a statue of a similar craftsman in the, in the place we met before. This has the same level of detail, it seems. If I had a way to take this back, I'd fetch a nice sum. Say, what's your interest in Castle Stranger, uh, Strange Rock, anyway? I suppose at the night you just want to obtain the Sacred Sword, no? Come now, we're partners. Surely you can confide in me. What about me? I've got my reasons. Got the spectacles here. Special items? The, use, uh, the super useful knife. I'll give you the bone carving knife for 400. I guess that... My main purpose is actually... Hmm... I better not say... Like, do I really... Superior bone carving knife. Oh! Even better! A knife that can carve a key from bone. Sometimes it's capable of carving two keys from a single bone. Now things are getting interest. The earnest-looking statue seems to be holding its hands in prayer. I've got party bones, which prove my constitution. Something very important. Oh, I guess I don't need this anymore now that I know the route. At least somewhat. This will lead to the mountains then. Or a puzzle. Okay. Put our ruby armlet here. That gives us our ability to push things. Is it really this simple as pushing on these four switches? Oh, hello, there's actually water. So let's actually explore before we do anything. Before we do anything permanent. I want to make sure to take a look around. Nope, okay. Acquire the ring, the wing boots. When you equip the winged boots, you'll be able to walk in the air for a short time. Just jump off while you have these equipped. Interesting. Let's on. And hop. That's actually really cool. Oh, this is not going to be good, though. Help a boss. Help a boss. Oh. What the heck is that? Chimera zombie. A poison is at least nice. I 
no damage with magic. Okay. For poison, because that's just really good. Strong against everything. Damn it. Large attack range. Oh, I realized my mistake. can use Blaze to push him away. It was actually really nice. If I was actually smart with that. Nope! Stay away! I'm surprised I actually took so many hits. So bad. An elixir. I could throw that in. A medicine made by ancient alchemical methods to revive the dead. It takes effect automatically when the owner dies. Nice. A very useful item. Oh, hello. Is it the I see approaching? If you made it this far, it would seem your skills have grown. That is fortuitous, Knight. I have something of, of which I wish to say. Regarding the actions which brought these uh, thee to Death's Edge, I wish to express my utmost regret. Surgeons such as us need to give her all or else we uh, risk being unable to win. If one is strong, they win. Weak, they lose. The timid do not last in our world. Thy hesitation brought about your fall. That is all there is to it. Should thy resolve waver anew, I shall cut you down countless times. Even were it not me, someone else would mete out your defeat. If thee wish to claim thyself a knight, to live and show me the valor of your words. If you provide, if you prove yourself unable to do the, uh, to do so, then cast aside the title of knight. Well, you're being very friendly, Dvorak. Especially for a person who killed me. I'm not gonna let that go. Just to let you know. Eagle Ed Mountain, and we're back to the mountains. Ooh, we can actually activate a teleporter. Which should be very useful here. A lot of items, that's for certain. A little, a little, a little too many, honestly. I'm gonna get. I'm actually gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go to town real quick since we can. Since I have the opportunity to do so, I'm going to. What I want to do. Well, I'll just take care of these guys. Let's see. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna put away the uh, put away the bone carving knife. I don't know if I'm gonna need anything else. I'm gonna keep the helmet, the helmets though, because they are special. I'm gonna take a little bit of a reprieve and learn a little bit of lore. Bones. Move this item here. I'm gonna actually, as strange as this sounds, I'm actually gonna take out the elixir. I 
probably will use the rest of my money to buy potions. So I'm gonna leave the ring. I'm gonna leave the spectacles. At least now I don't have to go back through the forest the long way. I'm tempted, honestly, to change my weapon, although, let's see. Yeah, I can't use the Gwyndori. Actually, I could use the Gwyndori Slasher. Can I? Hmm, best not to take a chance, honestly. I know there's a lot of damage I'm giving up. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? I should be resting. Resting, and we can also have things to read. Let's actually read them. Well, yeah, let's go through a history lesson first. The Princess N uh, Nair returning. If the literature of this era rings true, then the fair Princess Floret was a young lady of the most cheerful disposition, unmatched in both academic and military talent, and beloved by all her people. But though it, it is an in Incontrovertible, incon, uh, incontrovertible fact that she inherited the title of the Sacred Maiden at the time of her 16th birthday, little detail is known of her life before that day. Of course, the question most pertinent to these records is that of her whereabouts when she vanished and the seven sages vanished from Xanadu. The following account is one that may prove uh, most familiar to my readers, as it endures to this very, uh, very day in the canon of tales recounted to her young. Regrettably, there exists no official report of these events, so all information herein pertaining to Princess Florette's emprise is comprised from hearsay and rumor of the time. The last confirmed location of Princess Florette and her party was in the vicinity of Lindale. With the Dragon Slayer shimmering in her hands, our noble heroine had her sights set upon the mysterious castle that appeared only amidst the fog on the water. The same, uh, the self-same fort that had eluded the prior frenzy searching of Xanadu's army, Castle Strange Rock, stronghold of Gaussus. The princes and the seven sages, having successfully infiltrated the elusive citadel, had thus set about tracking down the devil and his bride therein. And in those haunted halls, the, to behold the mere shadow, the princess wielding the sacred sword, was as if to see her guardian, Valkyria herself, was such was the level of mastery displayed by our heroine. At long last, after seven days of fierce battle, Princess Florette's holy blade was plunged through the massive neck of the Dragon King. The Black Bride, with her husband dead and her power lost, is said to have then relinquished Castle Strangewalk into the waters deep and herself to eternal sleep. Of course, this is all little more than folk tale. Whatever truth there may be to this grandiose epic has been lost to the ages. It is historical fact, however, that the incursions wrought by the Devil's minions suddenly ceased no more than a single month after Pr uh, Princess Florette's disappearance from Xanadu, and since that time, neither scale nor claw has been seen of Galsus or his bride. Now the princess is heralded as one of the great figures of our time, a savior regarded with reverence and admiration, akin to that bestowed upon the founder himself, the great Kublai Khan. And after these events, no further incidents occurred, leaving Xanadu's records books with naught but peace and prosperity to this very day. I must admit that even I, typically unaffected as I am by the march of time, that I commit to record, have become enamored of this lore. When I call to mind of the image of Princess Floret brandishing her holy blade, I find myself lost in the moment. Seems like this is talking about Princess Floret. She must have looked amazing wielding the sacred sword against Galsus. And then there's the mention of Castle Strange Rock. It might just be a clue. Except, I guess we can't certain if the rumors from that era are true, if the Black Bride sunk it into the lake. Oh, before I forget, I made lunch for you. I hope you like it. I've got a lot of torque into it this time. There we go. And we can read a memoir. Wild Rabbit's Moon, 10th, 1212. My sister collapsed. She's always been poor of health, and I suppose time has been taking its toll. Our magic lesson was particularly rigorous, and she fainted. 
She's currently resting, but her face is still so very pale. My sister is constantly worrying about me and goes about her life with a smile, showing no concern for her own troubles. I want to make sure she doesn't push herself too much, so I really must en endeavor to do better. No matter how many times I've asked the father and sage Theobald, they never seem to let her rest. Yet, if she continues like this, there has to be something I can do for her. Tomorrow, I'm planning on giving things to my, uh, my all so that I can surpass my sister. If I do that, then surely. It definitely sounds like she's, uh... The elder daughter is the, um... Oh, the sick, uh, the sick daughter is actually the, uh, is the first in line, which would make sense. Alright. Let's go and buy some, let's go and buy some potions. I am going to need them. These guys hit like trucks. Items. I'm almost at a thousand HP. I can start buying these little guys here. But wow, we have made a huge discount when it comes to buying potions. I just oh, I can't buy any more. And I'll buy these just in case. They may only heal a hundred, and their value is diminished greatly. But it's still worthwhile. I mean, the keys are actually worth a lot less now. Uh, I'll hold on to the five hundred gold. Actually, how much is, a, is an antidote? Yay, that's actually not bad. Keep that at four. And why don't we just have... We're just fight, uh, going and swinging with as many artifacts as possible. Or as many passive abilities as possible. The blaze spell is very nice, though. made it through the woods. I can't believe I didn't think of the, um, the spectacles. I should have realized that the moment the, uh, marks were on the ground. Should have realized it. Alright. Blood Mountain. Second floor. What's over here, then? Hello! Well, oh, this being fire. And hang on a second. Everything's made of fire, so let's actually be smart about this. And let's actually equip a lightning blade. What weapon be made of lightning? And probably should actually use ice magic. I know I'm not exactly a great caster anymore, but still, it's worth it. These guys just absorb magic. This is getting ridiculous. They don't get as much experience as the, uh... as much experience as the lizards. But I do see a break of a wall in my path. I think here... You know what? I'm gonna go with poison and paralysis. I think those two are actually better. Let's punch down this door. Let's see what we find. Hello? No, there ha There we go. There's something here. Huh? Fire to spellbook. Lightning, level one. Nice, another spell. Calls forth a storm cloud that uh, strikes nearby enemies. Well, that'll be useful for later. Put on. Put that on. I think Curse is the one I don't mind switching on and off of, too. Yeah, 
definitely need to get a better weapon, though. Aha! This connects everything together. And we got the memoir. The memoir is Sublimation. I was curious what was actually this way. Ooh. Hello! Wow, okay, these guys are really powerful. And the... I'm really glad I got the fire helmet. Muscle... Unfortunately, I need to just muscle through this. There's no... This is where you wish you were a mage, and now I understand why they say level down everything. Well, you're not... Hey! Alright, that also does a ton of damage. I can't even touch him anymore. Let's see, actually... I hate that these guys don't move. Gotta be something there. This... No, there isn't, actually. Oh, wait, no, maybe he does move. Never mind. Gonna come here, lizard? Actually, here, I can do this. Uh, I can actually reset him. Then I can get the treasure. Yep, there we go. That's what I need to do. And also, apparently, just get destroyed by lava. The new item. Acquired the Quincent armlet. Damn it! That. Let's do have a chance to seal away the enemy's magic. An interesting, interesting armlet. Another memoir. Let's see anything else? No. Money. That was on the other side of the mountain. I'm a little surprised, honestly. Like, clearly the lizards give more experience than any of these salamanders. Oh, oh that was that side of the mountain. Oh, and this is where we start using those boots. That's actually kind of cool. That's pretty inventive, honestly, for a solution. Yeah, they did. Okay. Okay, these guys are attacking faster. I'm already halfway through this poison. Okay, so those pots are the ones that are will blow up. I just want to check the walls because now they're finally putting in um, things that you can actually destroy the walls with, or destructible walls. Ooh, this is. Hi there, tight roping. Damn it! 
I shudder to think. These guys just blow up too. Oh, hello. Frozen salamander. Only one enemy? Oh! Sagittarius. Oh, it's above me. I guess the other path is where I need to go. I want to be able to see that. What the heck are you doing here? The ruins of this island are truly labyrinth, uh, labyrinthine in nature and design. But sometimes it feels like you're entering the same place you just left. Make sure you don't get confused about where you come from, okay? Lucky day. A sea to spirit. I'm definitely going to learn from my mistakes and actually buy back proper. Green potion for 300. Let's actually be smart about this time. I'm eating this mysterious uh it's the reflex. So last time we lo uh, last time we ate a seed, we actually no, we didn't even get to eat the seed, we just lost it. Because we were being dumb. We were being really dumb. It's like how we're being dumb attacking these guys head on. How did these guys get all so much stronger? Then again, I guess we are deeper into the mountain. Hold that. Yep. And that'll lead us to our circles. Potion. This on. How's our mace doing? Our mace is actually at 200%. Unfortunately, I don't have any money now. And. Looks like we can. Yeah, we can just hop over. Ah, oh, the lizard. The damn salamander jumped in. What I can do then. Actually, turn around. Jump and smash. Leave no salamander slain. There's a bone. Hidden walls. Nope. Like, I'm slowly always looking for those sparkles. Ooh! Alright, the scale armor! How well is that compared to the spirit splint? It's less. Well, I'll keep it anyway. Souvenir! Fire. See, once one, it's no problem. Always one is multiple. Thousand gold, nice. Ah, 
Ah, punch back. Not gonna tolerate that. I think I'd better go back to. Honestly, I think if I, if I wanted money, I'd better go back to fight those lizards. That's not it. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, you can just blow everyone up. I think there's no friendly fire. Let's go there to the area without the key. And a pot. Okay, that's a pressure. What? Alright. Well, why don't we equip our ring here and see what this ha see what happens here. Okay, let's make those disappear. Nine. So it just any can any of them just hit the switch? I'm trying to think here, why would you want to have these disappear? Gotta be something I'm missing. Hey, how's it going, Solo Sandwich? How are you doing tonight? I am beside myself when it comes to this puzzle right now. Fancy about this puzzle. Why do I have something like this? Brings me into a state of confusion. How have you been as of late? I know I've been exactly active during Forza streams, but there's actually a good reason for it. I mean, it's kind of focused on myself. Oh, thank goodness, that just doesn't kill me. What's this? Nice wall of fire. That's a lovely wall of fire you have there. And I really do not be attacking things head on. Especially when they have 135 evasion. Oh crap, the griffins. Ah, oh, damn it, they heal by thunder. We're just, we're just healing everyone, apparently. We'll just get this. I could be using better magic, but instead let's just kill these guys, these griffins faster. Also, unfortunately, did not equip the right magic. So as long as I hit him with magic, they're actually good. Any sort of magic will actually bring them down. You want to prank as of that, uh... I say... I thought I said force, not prank.
me, it's more about just having the time. Let me guess. I'll close that, and I'll probably... Yep, that turns on that. Oh, wait a minute. Can I... I can't even hit the switch again. We're committed. We are committed to our... to where we are. Another tablet. Capricorn. It says, oh, that's magic. And a guardian. Part the guardian card, Ganesha. Huh, it actually kind of looks like an elephant. This guardian increases your resistance to abnormal effects. Effects such as paralyze and poison will be reduced while this card is born. Interesting. This must be a, net, a shortcut. As long as I activate it, and it can fire. Something tells me all the enemies are actually strong against, um... Strong against the level 1 spells, and so I actually need to get the level 2 spells. What does this then lead? That, that, the... Oh, the savior, thank you very much for the host. As always, it's appreciated. Oh, it's this area of uh, the mountain. Nice. I think what I will do though, I need I need a better weapon. This is at 200% proficiency now. How are you guys doing tonight? If you've never seen me before I stream, I stream daily. I primarily focus on my back. Currently, I'm primarily focused on clearing my backlog of games. My current project right now is Zen Do Next because I want to try and beat one RPG a month. And yes, I count uh, action RPGs like this as an RPG. I'll just bring us straight back to town. Awesome, we have a shortcut. Enjoy knowing I can actually just simply get around everywhere. That's drastically reduced in price. I can buy this battle axe too, how nice. I can even sell this shield. And I can also turn in all those tablets as well. And get ourselves a new skill as well. Berserk! What does Berserk do? Uh, if I could find it first. Berserk increases the attack power at the cost of defense. How much? Does not say. Interesting. I personally would not prefer to chance that. I've also noticed I can't really use... Oh, I can't still. Eh. Let's have a counter ability. I haven't played, around, I haven't played around with that yet. Lot to actually, We're actually very close here. That was literally two and two. So you're missing four memoirs and three tabula. Let's save because I'm not taking a chance on death. And not. Can I? Sorry, this is me being me. Put away the armor. We don't need the armor. Can keep the helmets. I don't need the cap. Silence defense doesn't seem to be any worthwhile here. And I don't. Oh, I just realized how many keys I actually went through. And 
how many potions I also went through as well. We might actually be crafting some, uh... Actually, let's try that. Let's see... Like three... One key was made. Okay. I'll probably just buy, um... I'll buy the keys instead. Since I have plenty of money, and I have plenty of stats, too. I should actually plan what to do with these stats here. How far away am I from the from the best armor that he sells right now? 220, I need 18 int, 18 reflex, 25 constitution, and 18 mind. That is a lot to get. It's 10, it's 21, it's 16. oh my god, look how expensive they are. No way I can even afford that. New helmets, though. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the battle axe here when berserk. These are good ways away as well. I want to. I'm gonna try and hang on to my stats. As strange as it sounds, it's actually. I. I honestly think it's important to actually hang on to your. Uh, uh, to your stat points and. In a game like this, it requires you to be a lot more judicious with your points. Okay. Although I wish I could get enough money to buy that stuff, though. Venaport is also really helpful as well. Sell one of these bones here. Let's see. And 18. 18 is low as that goes. As I said, you go through a lot of keys really quickly. The supply and demand mechanic actually kind of works out. I'm honestly curious just how many keys you actually do need in this game. I am honestly curious about that. Right, let's get back up to that mountain. I don't mind taking the long way. This is technically a, it's technically a shortcut, but it's also kind of a long way as well. Now I gotta go all the way up and around. And we got another bone. actually let me do a lot more damage. I've kind of been sandbagging in the weapons department, honestly. And I have been more focused on strength than intelligence. Like I said, you, you do want a lot of money in this game. I feel like if I actually farmed the lizards and will o -Wisps, I would have gotten... You could easily 100% the game or make the game a lot easier for you. So these are actually re re reset. Means I need more money. 150 gold. Very nice. I'm guessing this probably gives the same. Yep. 150 gold. And okay, we have the boots. Just need to make sure of that. And I probably need to make sure I don't I'm not using fire here on these guys. Okay, I'm getting eaten alive here. Oh, 
Maybe I should have stuck with sneak attack. Feline, I should have stuck with sneak attack. And Philly should have stuck with sneak attack. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, I'm gonna hit that spur. Small potion. See that? All right. Clearly, the intercept skills not the best right now. I've kind of been focused on weapon arts. I like how each of these guardians actually do have some sort of impact. Like I'd say, if I get to the end, I'll probably put on Silphid again just for the extra HP. Uh, I have to. Okay, I guess this actually reset. Alright, that's fine. I can just reset the uh, reset this as well. I'm gonna get through this in, uh, the entire Eagled Mountain before tonight. I have the helmet on, but okay, killing these guys faster. Oh crap, Minotaur. Okay. Minotaur kinda kicks ass. I think that Minotaur's charge just killed the sound effects. I need to find a disc. Yeah, the crap, that actually takes a disc. I am paralyzed. Guys, make okay. So curse weakens them. That's very good to know. Okay, so that looks like charge stuns me then. Nice to lower your damage, but still. Well, one way or another, I'm increasing my damage output. Let's 
Every swing. Every swing matters, baby. Come on. Attack me. I really need a lot of money. I need to increase my defense a lot. It's 200. Did I even get a disc? I don't think I did. I did not. I need to find a disc. Well, I guess I can jump down here then. Oh, you are kidding me. No, there's nothing there. I don't even know what the purging arrow does. Put those two at the bottom. Poison and paralysis seems to be better. What do they want me to do? So... I'm confused here by this puzzle. Do I just need a s I can't even push these, though. It's clear the disc is here, and so what I need to do, I need to solve this puzzle here. But I don't know how. Or what they want me to do. Wait a Like, there's gotta be a way to push this another direction. But I can't push the blue blocks here. Damn it, I knew this, pl uh, this puzzle here would bite me in the butt. What's the solution? You can't pull- you- the, the, here's the problem I'm having with this puzzle. You can't pull blocks, unfortunately. I can only make- I only push it that way, that'll make this disappear. Oh. Wait a minute. But that resets everything, though, right? Does shoot. Wait a minute, I know what to do now. This is gonna be dumb, but I think it actually will work. If this is actually what they want me to do, this is gonna be interesting. Nope, I okay, can't push that on that. Push the block, though. Oh, oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. No, I'm thinking too hard. I'm thinking too hard. Okay, that's the pu that's the solution. No! No money, though. Now I'm gonna be fighting me. It's not even really worth fighting all this stuff here. How much trouble these things give me. But I need to, because I need the points. I need the experience. The money. So 
my proficiency with this? It's already 112%. Nope, we're not dealing with you guys. Or we are, and we're stuck here. gonna use the shrine here. I want to see what this does. Your guardian has a yeah. So basically, it's a free level then. That's what those guardian statues do. That's actually really awesome. I just realized my fault, my folly. I didn't even have the other. Well, I had the poison one on. That's actually good. That's why we have. That's why you got the small healing potions. That is why you got the small healing potions. Like, if I'm not gonna be able to kill these guys, I'm nowhere near gonna be able to actually... I'm not gonna be able to actually get, uh, what's ever up ahead. Actually, fight these guys. Yeah, so, curse reduces their damage output. That's actually really good. The reason I'm going through this is because it also increases my weapon proficiency. Like you can see that I'm doing more damage, just actively. I'm not- I wasn't gonna survive another hit. Go. And he paralyzed me. Alright. It's only worth 200, that's worth nothing. And I need to go through this whole thing again. You know what? Actually, yeah, I know what to do now. I should be better. Yeah, it literally has me go through this again and again. That's kind of dumb, honestly. What are you going to do? I'm 
going to try out that Black Onyx portal. Give that a shot. Yeah. I have a good idea. Let's use it here. Let's see how this works. So... Yep, okay. As long as I step on there, I'll be te teleported all the way back. I need potions. Badly. How expensive are those? 840. That's starting to actually look a lot better as an item now, I'll be honest. Those, uh, black onyx. I might actually buy one just in case. Because those have been saving my butt. What's my proficiency with that? 170, jeez. Already. The Minotaur definitely let me just destroy them. find anything new? No, but we did actually find a bunch more tablets. We're getting a double, a double dose of lore today. I need to put anything in here. No, I did not. Okay. Just want to make sure. Sacred Sword and Maiden. Allow me to discuss the particulars of the Sacred Sword Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer is the name of the legendary blade used by the brave hero to fell the Dragon King, Galsus. Long ago, when the sword first emerged in lore, it was presumed to be the incarnation of a sainted hero whose desire to destroy evil had manifested in physical form. Yet the ability to vanquish evil is not the only magic it holds. At full strength, the sword pro uh, pr also protects the wielder, granting unto them the utmost triumphs. Because of this power, the royal family feared that the sword would fall into the hands of wicked people much like the crowns. In order to safeguard the sacred sword, therefore, its whereabouts were kept secret from the public with extreme care. One other rumor concerning the care of the sacred sword that I am unable to confirm is its connection to the sacred maiden seal. For after Princess Florette took the Sacred Sword with her, the final whereabouts of the Holy Blade were lost to all records. Regarding the Sacred Maiden's seal, maintaining the spell is quite an arduous task indeed. On the day they turn 16, those chosen are appointed the role of standing guard over the seal, imprisoning the devil until the successor becomes of age. For centuries there has been a steady con uh, continuation of the role since Galsus was sealed. In order to fulfill such obligations, I have heard it necessary that the royal family's eldest daughter is put through arduous training to become a sacred maiden from the moment of her birth. It is no exaggeration in my eyes to say that they shouldered a great burden to maintain peace in Xanadu. That is, until unfortunate, uh, un unfortunate role was put to an end, more specifically when it passed to Princess Florette. Hmm, it says here that the Sacred uh, Sword and Sacred Maiden Seals are related. I'd love to hear Princess Florette's tale as if she were alive to tell it. More lunch! And more experience. So let's also learn about the Seven Wise Sages. The Seven Sages who gathered to guide the brave hero in his quest to defeat Galsus were people from all, of, from all walks of life and from all corners of Xanadu. They were skilled men and women, held in the highest regard by the king. After that hero, after that hero defeated Galsus, the role became that of assistance to the Sacred Maidens. These sages served both as guardians and advisors in all aspects of the Sacred Maiden's life. Up until the time Princess Flart became the Sacred Maiden, many different people were appointed a role as one of the sages throughout the ages. But the sages of that time are, uh, are of particular note and honored, 
are honored below. Dvorak, the Sage of Valor. Gondarva, the Sage of Merit. Lorelei, the Sage of Tar uh, Charm. Theobald, the Sage of Empathy. Arbidama, the Sage of Wisdom. Beatrice, the Sage of Mysticism. And Sturm, the Sage of Victory. Interesting. Well, as I say, now know who the heck the Sage of Valor is. They, along with the princess, carried the hopes of the people as they set off to vanquish Galsis. And when they faced the demonic army, the sages passed along their knowledge and records to her. Their wisdom and skill, it said, was an instrumental in driving Galsis out of, out and in returning peace to Xanadu. I wish to record here, however, an oddity that I came across while pursuing the various records from that era. The sage Lorelei, not a single document exists to, uh, which pertains to her. Perhaps she perished during the war, or perhaps someone wished to strike her memory, strike her memory from history itself. Much like the location of the crowns and sacred sword, I have no way to verify the true fate of this forgotten sage. Present time, without the lingering threat of Galsis casting a, sh uh, casting a, a shadow over the land, the traditions in, of the sages and sacred maiden have been abolished. However, I wish to ensure that their valiant legacy is given its due in the, in the pages of history, and thus have written about it here. I can only hope that the royal, uh, the royal heroine and the seven sages found peace at the end, even as I mortalize their deeds here. The seven sages, huh? I really owe them so much for all the sacrifices they made to make with the world what it is today. These people are undoubtedly related to the Sacred Sword as well. And more lunch! But we still have some memoirs to read. Elial's Crow's Moon, 3rd of 1215. My tutor praised me quite highly. Very soon, I'll have the ability to best my sister. It's been three years since then. Even though I wasn't really much to look at before, I've grown a considerable amount. I'm still not good as my sister. Her magical prowess and swordplay are yet out of my reach, but it won't be long before I surmount those final hurdles. That time will come. Tis just a little bit longer. In order to prepare for when the time comes, I think I need to keep applying myself like this. Demigod's Moon, the 14th of 1216. Today is our 16th birthday. At long last, the time has come. My sister and I together have a very important task today. No matter the outcome of today's events, there is nothing we can do to change it, which is the fate we were born into. Yet, I hope the goddess of fate has heard my prayers and will choose me in place of my sister. While the thought scares me, tis what I fervently tis what I fervently desire. I've done everything in order to swing the pendulum in my favor. Well, I suppose I must get going then. When next I return to this room, I wonder what exactly feelings I'll hold in my heart. There we go. The Tale of Sisters. The tragedy. That's actually... It's gonna do less damage now. Let me actually... Just here. Let's move all the lunches! I'm not eating the lunches because these are actually really good. Fruit basket. Lunch of Charme. Uh, Charme. A bountiful selection of freshly sliced seasonal fruit. Like, you can see how much health they restore. And nah, that's pretty much why. Stamina Hamburger, a lunch set charme. The aroma of, and of the hamburger and Demi Glace's mouth are really good. I think she got really good at cooking. I don't think I need anything else, and I can't buy any more potions. And I can't... Am I close? I'm pretty close, actually, but... You know what? Actually, this is actually worth using. I'm gonna put three points in strength right now. It's also hopefully... Why do not rest?
See, like, this in Final Fantasy XV, I actually would love to go back and play through, like, a second time. Or go back, basically, and complete this game proper. And when I say... When I say play, I mean complete the game completely. That's where Ganesh... I need it just make sure three points in strength. I'm holding on I'm basically holding on to an entire level so the next time I can actually focus on upgrading my armor to as best I, as best I can have it. Blech, I can speak today. Alright, there we go. We got our potions, we got everything. Let's just save one more time since I want to make sure. I always want to be learning new skills and stuff. I feel like I'll come across one of them that'll be like really useful. Like the backstab is really nice right now since I'm in an I'm in an ice area. I'm actually curious. What does that do? Bash. Bash. A powerful blow that knocks enemies off balance. Interesting. And now though, I'm gonna use this. Also, it does more, currently does more damage. Alright, so, what I can do, hopefully... I'm just gonna run past these guys, however. He seems strong. He seems unharmed, Abhidharma. Yes, somehow. So all that remains is uh, Strum, and Gandharva too, I suppose. It's quite probable that the, uh, it'll be only a matter of time before they open their eyes. Ah, there's more. Beatrice, I have something I must tell you. What would that be? There are good tidings to share, but they go hand in hand with less fortunate news. Let us start with the good. Sage Theobald has just confirmed the location of the princess. Really? Just where? She is in the same state as we were, frozen in time where our last battle raged. She has been alone there for centuries, utterly heart-wrenching. Well, what pray tell is the bad news? It pertains to the mastermind behind our petrification, the Black Bride. So she yet lives as well? Indeed. We must ensure we are prepared. If such is the case, we must hurry to the princess's side, otherwise... A moment, Beatrice. Who goes there? You must be... A knight whom Sage, the Sage Theobald spoke. If the sacred sword is your desire, then our paths will cross with yours as you press on. You'd best take care along the way. You'll excuse me. Oh, you must be quite the promising young man. Leobald seems to put a great deal of stock in your ability. Do not go forth blindly, knight. Know that you're already entrapped, uh, entrapped with the, uh, within the entropy. Everything shall soon reach a peak, even when the fates of those frozen in time. The statue of a man here with a solemn visage stands watching. Interesting. I want to activate this teleporter pad. Eaglet Mountain Central. I was honestly expecting a boss, that's why it's like I want to make sure I'm ready for everything. Now how much further... Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna make sure I have ice resistance to ice up here. Damn it. 
Griffin's weak to Thunder. Oh, well, that changes a lot, actually. I can bring back the fire. That's much better. That's the damage I'm used to having. Is that... No, there's gotta be more around here. Yeah, that fire ability is really powerful. What was, was that a panacea? Fire the Drake's Claw. The heck's the Drake's Claw? Okay, yeah, as well as a panacea. Drake's Claw, two handed weapon, takes 28 strength. Feel your sword with a unique design, has a clawed tip. That's a really good weapon. That is an ungodly weapon. I just wish these enemies would drop more money. Very glad I switched helmets. Heal is a free heal. Mountain Summit. I'm actually surprised I'm not seeing like a chink in the wall or anything. Perfect place to like hide a uh, a wall you could smash through. Ah. I've been a huge fan of uh, like a T-Rex. Oh, hello. That stuns them, but my goodness, that just does so much da they do so much damage. What's this? Purpose. There's gotta be something I can do with this. I'm just gonna try something since this is actually ice. No idea, I guess that's just decoration then. Uh, probably best actually go blaze since we're on a nice, on a fiery mountain. We're on a mountain of ice now. So much damage. I gave you all the armlets. Did I say omelets, I'm at omelets. <laughs> I might be thinking of eggs right now. Honestly, haven't had it scrambled eggs in ages. Oh, 
Okay, that's... Here, have fun. That is a wall of pain and misery. How would you like to brute force your way through that? Hey. Well, I hope I'm strong enough for this, or else I'm gonna spend some time grinding here, because we went through this section really quickly. So at the top, I can't, is there another? Wait, it's more of a question, I guess, actually, I guess there would be another boss. Yep, this is actually, I guess, is where the last crown is. And I completely forgot, you're evil worm. You're made of fire, aren't you? You're completely made of fire. You are made of fire. This is going to hurt. Oh, that going to hurt. You're going to explode, aren't you? I probably also should change this to this. That's really scary. Well, I can do damage to him at least. Why did I? Oh my god, I left my magic. The wrong magic on too. That's painful. I don't think I made it. I don't want to be hit by that. That is brutal. I can't even backstab him, actually. I just noticed that. Those explosions are just getting bigger. Alright, they do do damage. Maybe I have to get... Oh, maybe I have to be on the different elevation. That actually might be it. Oh, I think both the distance. Not the survival damage I hit like that, am I? Okay, let's try this. Yeah, it's elevation. It's gotta be elevation. That makes... This is actually a cool fight. Unless this happens. Oh. That's not good. Hi there. Uh, I would like to change my weapons, please. Ah. Oh. 
Yep, it's an elevation. Ah. What the? Yeah, he's teleporting now. Nope, okay, that, the boots are actually a terrible idea. The boots are actually a terrible idea. Let's give her the boots. Boots be gone. Let's heal them. Like, the idea of have climbing up the lava is nice. Give myself more time to react here. That's a lot of enemy. Oh, we're gonna raise the lock again. Just drawing it out until I make a huge mistake. Like that. Or that. I'm surprised I haven't found, like, an ice sword or anything. I keep making these mistakes. Just wanna blitz it. the damage. No! Oh no. No, it's up. So close. 14 now. No evasion. That was a kind of surprise. Done! Also a chest down there. I got the achievement demon buster. I wanna go see what this what's in that normal chest first. That is the longstone. With the longstone equipped, you'll be able to move through the water with ease. There we go. Not drowning anymore. Uh, is there anything else? Nope. 
That was a fun fight. How much did I get? 33% just from him. Not bad, actually. I'm guessing this is the last... Yep. Well, it's, I only have three crowns. I don't have four. Dvorak. I'm holding a grudge against Dvorak. I'm telling you right now. Acquired the crown of Rebic. Probably shouldn't have the thing that actually, uh... I'm not gonna bother with this treasure chest here. I will kill these guys. Sages are still there, or if they also woke up. Like, so far, honestly, it seems like fighting the lizards were actually the best thing for me. I'm actually surprised. And I didn't know I could actually be frozen. Actually, no, I did. I say I got frozen a couple uh, two nights ago. I like how just any magic stuns them for some reason. I don't know why. Yep. Stone fragments lay strewn about. Well, what about the last one? Well, actually, technically, this too. What about... So, is this the princess? Yeah, I guess that's the princess then. Look at that damage. Look at that amazing damage. I'm also very close to leveling, too. We have one more memoir. Now we can breathe underwater. Our lush village. Denmar! Did you just get back? <laughs> Glad you made it in one piece. Are you well? No mortal wounds, I take it? I thought I'd get us some tea for, uh, for when you return, and here you are. Shall we have a cup? Did you find another crown? After exploring Eaglet Mountain, I dare say you've pretty much scoured this whole island. You've done wonderfully. Up to this point, we've gathered three crowns and a fair number of tabula, too. We should check around town. Maybe there's still some clue about Castle Strange Rock. We can still learn. With all that endless fighting you've done, Tenmar, a relaxing stroll would probably do you good. Indeed it will. Relaxing sounds great. I see you found some old memoirs. I'll get started translating these right away. Let's see. I'm gonna keep this... I'm gonna put this back, so let's actually get rid of the battle axe. 
definitely keep a full inventory here, jeez. The weapon here. Not as much else, actually. Aside from maybe the bones, but I'm not needing- I'm not starving for keys right now. I feel like if I really want uh, magic, uh, money, I need to go back to the uh, to the woods and head there. I do want to see what Dash does, though. We've managed to explore all of Harlock Island. There might be some clue as to strange rocks whereabouts hidden in those memoirs and tabula. Shall we give them another look? Alright, well, I guess again, then I'll take a rest. And she's still translating that. We've got another demigod, and we're only missing three tabula, uh, tabula left. Nothing left to do. Why don't we talk around town here? Hmm? What does Mr. High and Mighty Knight want? You know, when you first came to, uh, to this here town, you had a face like a cat with its whiskers in a twist. Lately, though, you, uh, you're looking a bit sharper. <laughs> Maybe you found some woman to scratch your ears, eh? Miss Ag Agnes returned in a hurry earlier, but then she left again just as quickly. I wonder if she found something exciting in the ruins to sell. There is another lake to Orwell to, uh, to Orwell to the east called uh, Sebrian. However, you can't see it from this town. In olden times, it was said that when the water level of Orwell lowered, the water of Sebrian would, would rise. Because of that, there's a rumor that both lakes share the same water vein. Listen up, young and oftentimes makes more sense later down the line. Just, uh... They do back at the at the rocky start. There are times you gotta stay your hand, so take a look back on the road uh, you came from. You see, if you lost sight of where to go, check back with your partner. A word or two with the townsfolk also might make things most uh, more clear. The fallen knights of tree like scum, thanks to that prime minister. But I'm guessing all of them knights of Marquis Furnival's weren't exactly squeaky clean, if you know what I mean. All that wealth and power, lots of knights uh, were involved in corrupt politics. I wonder if what the Prime Minister really wanted was to destroy all that. Though Marquis Furnival likely had no choice but to disband uh, abandon since the corruption even went up to the top of the knights. I wonder if Marquis Furnival knew he'd personally be choosing to ruin things for the sake of a new age. Eh, maybe I'm thinking too much. I don't think you're thinking too much, that makes sense. My child finally opened her eyes. Watching over the growth of my child is such a delight and a blessing. Ah, disaster! Incredible news just reached my ears. Prime Minister Zordius is planning to declare war on the aristocrats. Speaking of the aristocrats, these were the uh, very ones who sided with the Prime Minister during the War of the Knights. Anyway, if a war is going to break out, then I must make my way there. I simply cannot let this chance for gold pass me by. And to think of it, the lord of this land is on friendly terms with the Prime Minister. If the lord weren't ill, his influence would surely have had an impact on the situation. Certainly if his daughter were around, she could have spoken on his behalf as well. A lady came by just a moment ago trying to sell me some strange old bow. I told her, look lady, I ain't no curio dealer, and sent her on her way. If you're wanting it though, uh, you might want to check with Spence's shop. Oh, we got even new weapons too. We got Spike Mace was actually the last one. Here's we have the Great Sword and the Warhammer. Oh my shield mastery and charge. Oh, that's a lot of stats. That's a lot of stats. Oh, so close to actually getting that long sword too. Tower shield's as high as that goes. Full plate's still as high as that goes too. I definitely want to try and strive for that full plate. Like, the half plate's nice, that is 50 defense. And it is on the way, but I'd rather save up, find a way to save up money and get that. Like, kind of been... I feel like, honestly, I've been trying to spend my money better, but I've been doing, ter like, doing a terrible job at it. 
I asked my father to buy me the latest fashion when he next goes to the capital. That way when he buys it, I'll get to some sort of great catch, you see. That seem a bit devious? Looks like my son doesn't want to be a fisherman. I thought he'd take up the family business without all this bickering and moaning. He mustn't realize yet that his blood is just yearning for it. I'm sure he'll come around. Hey, good sir, won't you have a dance with us? Alcott invited us uh, to dance at the tavern, but I really prefer dancing outside. The song of the wind, the flow of the grass, the weight of the clouds drift. They're all accompaniments to our dance, after all. I reckon they'll, uh, there'll be more monsters in the ruins than before. Such bad news can only be the harbinger of something greater. Oh, hey, this is Agnes. 3,000! How about 2,700? No way, 2,900. 2,800. Okay then, 2,850. Hmm. Sorry, 2,800 gold is my limit. Although that sword could fetch a nice price amongst the aristocratic collectors. I'm afraid I can't offer you any, uh, any more. Not even for you, Agnes. Your face tells it all. Stubborn as ever. The Lord of Lind uh, Lindale Lakes area was a great uh, was a man of gentle character. It said he was stricken w uh, with a malady caused the millen uh, called the Millennial Slumber and has been lost to the waking world these past years. I believe the Lord had a child, a daughter. Yes. Rumors say she fled after some disagreement with her stepmother and has never been seen again. Really, theirs is a family beset by ill fortune. I heard a rumor that some mysterious item lets you breathe in the water. If something like that actually exists, and swimming with the fishies isn't such a dream after all. Hey, Agnes. I found a peculiar bow amidst the ruins. Judging by its ornamentation and style, you can tell it's a rather old artifact. Despite its age, the bowstring is intact, and the body immaculate. Hmm, my intu intuition tells me this bow holds a mystical secret, to be sure. I know. Say, I want to buy this bow? As a sign of our friendship, I'll even give you a deep discount. How does the incredible generous sum of 4,000 gold sound to you? Sure. Really? Well then, here you go. Fire the sovereign. We got luck. That's just lucky. Just what I expect of a knight. You've got a discerning eye. Oh hey, dig up anything on Castle Strange Rock yet? From what I've heard, you aren't working with that. Uh, aren't you working with that scholarly girl over at the tavern? It seems like a clever little thing. Maybe she can tell you something about the ruins. If there's profit to be had, I'll do whatever I can to help. Oh, I guess she's not selling- I guess she'll only sell me stuff out in the wild. Oh boy, Agnes is always helping out my business, but... This ain't something I can part with, even for her. When did he get something new? And he got level 3 spells! Yep, oh, the basics actually just got upgraded, except for- except for the level 1s. Yeah, only the basics, like Needle, Fire, Lightning, and Ice actually upgraded. And we got the bow. A bow bought from Agnes. Although considerably uh, old, it wears uh, no signs of wear. Even the bow string is intact. And I... It honestly, looks like I can equip it for some reason. I have to just buy one. I think I'm reaching the point. Can I even actually equip this? I can! And... Huh. Strange. I'm surprised they would let me actually equip a bow. As, as might be apparent, Lady Leas is rather strict. Yet, I think underneath that stern demeanor, she is truly a compassionate person. I respect Lady Elise a lot, not just as a priestess of the spirit sanctum, but also as a woman. Knight. Regardless of what happens, I believe in Lady Elise, and I will follow her to the end. Sir Knight, you seem to have grown greatly, uh, grown greatly in confidence of late. I believe you have the will now to realize your goal and return to normal. 
Without a doubt, the Sacred Sword will choose a man such as yourself. I can sense it. Put the axe now. That sword here takes 28 strength. That's a lot, actually, to commit. But although I'm close to another level... There are so many skills you can learn from this game. I didn't find anything where to go, except... I think I know where I need to go. Sir Knight, are you always traveling about? I get to leave this island, I'm rather envious. The only place left to go is actually down in the ocean. Rodney always catches the best fish, they're so tasty. No matter how many people are fishing, he always gets the biggest fish. Whenever we go fishing together, Rodney always gets all the bites while I'm left holding the hook. That is fun to fi uh, swim with the fishies. Me, eh, I can't swim. The lake is a bit too fo is a bit foggy today too. Come autumn, these mists uh, mist will drift off, and you can see the fishing village of Olsten Olsten uh, across the lake, clear as day. I yeah, I guess our next dream will actually go diving into the water. I think of anywhere else to go. I think what I might do. Hmm. Nah, you know what? We'll take a chance and we'll see what happens. Go and save. We. We'll take a break. Oops, that's the wrong button. Let's take one more rest. Tomorrow we'll head off into the water here since see, it's the only place we can go. If I get stuck, then I might actually take a look. But for now, though, let's take a look and see who's actually streaming right now. Since this is PAX, I don't expect a lot of people to be active in the streaming. But there is definitely one person uh, who's streaming. He's actually streaming a bunch of uh, Nintendo games. He's actually Cthulhu the Third. I've always given him a host. And he's always a great streamer if you love watching retro games be played. He's, he hails all the way back from the Justin TV days. He definitely deserves any everyone's support. But I'm going to give him a host. That's going to be it for me tonight, though. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, tomorrow we'll take off and see where we can, what we can find underwater. But until then, though, thank you very much for watching. And until then, take care. <laughs>